you may be aware that the FDA and CDC have called for a pause in the use of the Johnson Johnson vaccine uh, after six cases of a rare blood clotting issue were identified within, in patients within two weeks of getting the Johnson Johnson vaccine. Uh, that was among the six million doses that had been given of that product and uh, similar issues led to a pause with the AstraZeneca vaccine in Europe. Uh, these issues and clotting um, complications were seen in women between the ages of 18 and 48. Uh, I will stress how rare these events were, but they are serious and warrant review. And that development should reassure us that anytime there's a safety signal or a, a sign that there could be a safety issue with a vaccine, the CDC and FDA diligently monitor the safety of those vaccines. Uh, serious adverse events to vaccines have been rare when you think of the millions upon millions of doses of the vaccines that have been given across the world, but they have to be thoroughly investigated and we support the decision to pause and confirm the vaccine safety. Uh, we are unaware of any similar complications in a patient that's received Johnson & Johnson vaccine in our patient population here at Novant Health. Uh, in response, we will be pausing the use of Johnson & Johnson vaccine. As I uh, said before, we did not get an allotment of that product this week. Uh, we'll be offering alternative products, including Pfizer and Moderna, as they're available. So this morning, we'll be looking to reassess our supply in alignment with our current appointments. Patients who come for vaccination today who had an appointment for the Johnson Johnson product will be offered Pfizer vaccine instead. Uh, if you've received Johnson Johnson vaccine, and it's been more than two weeks since you had it. We do not believe there's anything to be concerned about or any safety concerns in that group. If it's been less than two weeks since you got your vaccine, Again, any complication would be very rare, but we would suggest you monitor for unusual symptoms. We would expect your arm to be sore in the couple of days after vaccine. Uh, however, if you develop headache or visual changes or weakness of your face or limbs or swelling of the extremities or anything that seems out of the ordinary for a typical vaccine response, it's worth contacting your physician. Remember, these events were incredibly rare, but they're serious, so we want to be, want to be careful and, and err on the side of caution. So the pause will last long enough for, um, for us to see what the FDA and CDC about, say about safety events. So as they evaluate that, we'll, we'll essentially on an hourly basis be aware of, of those discussions. Um, and then once it's deemed safe, we'll um, start its use or if they recommend a adjustment to how the vaccine is used or in what population it's used in, we will we'll follow that guidance, but it will be stopped across the enterprise for now.